everybody, it's Emmy from The Great Adventure and I'm with my buddy Jackie. Hi everybody. In Wapakoneta, Ohio, where our dogs are along the road. Woo! And we just went past cornfields back there. The river is here. You can't really see it. And we just listened to the high school band practicing for tomorrow night. Who are they playing, Jackie? Ottawa Glandorf. That's what I would have said. I don't know where they are, but yeah. And then we've watched a little league football team. And this is all around America here. This is all town America. There's the river, the O'Glaze River. And this is in Ohio, Wapakoneta, Ohio, which uh, the claim to fame is it, and we're in a golf cart, by the way. I love this. I love it. We're driving through the city streets in a golf cart. So, the wonderful thing about this, what's the claim to fame here? Neil Armstrong, born and raised, first man on the moon. Woo! Which kind of means what the Canada has claimed to the moon, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you're going to get a little tour of the just a beautiful all around all american town we're at the stoplight so jackie's doing a good job driving there is a car behind us actually um uh, and um there's a space motif over there because this is neil armstrong's hometown are we going are we going by his where do you want to go? You want to go by his, his, his house around right there? there? Okay. That's where we'll go. So we're going to go. Uh, we just had a lovely dinner, and Gracie is back at the trailer, and we are. I want you to see this town. Don't you want to live here? This is just fun. Wapakoneta because my roommate, when I was a missionary in Amsterdam, my roommate Kathy Carter was from Wapakoneta, Ohio. So Kathy, I hope you see this. Get homesick, girl. Yeah, she can look at it online. All right, we are at Buchanan and Pearl. Wherever that is. This is really Americana. I do not know who FJB is. Oh, well, let's go Brandon. <laughs> let's go Brandon. <laughs> there is Neil Armstrong's boyhood home. Right here. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. Stephen and Viola Armstrong moved their family, including 13-year-old Neil and his younger siblings, June and Dean, to this house at 601 West Benton Street in 1944. And here, Neil explored his fascination with flying by reading aviation magazines and building model airplanes. Neil completed flying lessons at nearby Port Canada? Canada. Canada Airport and earned his pilot's license on his 16th birthday, even before receiving a driver's license. Oh my gosh. Neil graduated from Bloom High School in 1947, studied aeronautical engineering at Purdue University on a Navy scholarship. The Korean conflict interrupted his studies, but he left the Navy as a decorated combat pilot, flying 78 missions. And after graduating from Purdue in 1955, Neil worked at what you would become the NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland. Soon after, he became a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base in California. And so on. And he was the first man to step foot on the moon. No other human being has that bragging rights. There you go. Neil Armstrong's home. He's been gone how long now? I just saw today, I think maybe 14 is what it's well. Oh, maybe, maybe 12, I don't know. And did he used to come here to, to uh, after he, he, he did. 
did not up. return, I don't believe, very yeah. often. Um, there was a big parade honoring him, like in September, maybe, of 69. Okay. Uh, but I don't believe he returned home very often. But his parents were still alive, so that, oh, that's cool. That's cool. he probably snuck in and snuck out. He probably did. He probably did. So, Bob and Jack, you, you don't see Bob because he's helping his son uh, do some work on the house tonight. But Bob and Jackie are hosting me. I met them at a campfire at a campground in Indiana, and they invited me to come stay at their house that next week because I was going to be going through Ohio. And now I'm on my way back to Denver, and they said, come stay with us. So I have the trailer in, on their beautiful property and I'm spending the night here in Wapakoneta with my new buddies. So when are you coming to Colorado? Uh, that's still up in the air. <laughs> you gotta come to Colorado. I only have a condo but my brother has a great place in near Breckenridge. Right Tom? <laughs> Thanks Tom. We'll see you in a week. <laughs>